Recently, I made a video talking about the Sick Coyote and why I think it'll really be a top tier hunter exotic more than ever. And this is because the ability that you have to pair the Sick Coyote with surplus and ideally two surplus weapons, which gives you a lot of handling of course, with other benefits with a lot of uptime. A popular comment that was brought up in that video was why wouldn't you just use Dragon Shadow? And while I'm not looking to compare these two builds or exotics specifically, there's one thing I wanna home in on. Some folks said that the Dragon Shadow gives you faster handling faster swap speeds than that of even quick draw or max handling and I wanted to look more into that and while I was doing it I thought why not let's do a full discussion on how handling works and properly understanding handling and swap speeds. So quick draw is 100 handling and some people refer to 100 handling as quick draw. So for all intents and purposes, when I say quick draw, it also means 100 handling. There are four elements to what handling affects. It affects the draw speed of a weapon, how fast you swap to it, the stow speed of the weapon, how fast you swap off of it, the aim down sight speed, how fast you're able to aim down sights, and your sprint ready speed, how fast the weapon is ready to fire from sprinting. The handling stat itself is a scalar modifier that has a given value represented as zero handling and a given value as 100. For the sake of a very simple example here, we'll say 0 could be represented by 10 and 100 could be 30, just to throw random numbers out there. And nothing that affects the handling stat can go beyond or below those values that are representing 0 and 100. The number that 0 and 100 represent can and may be different also for each weapon type. Some perks however, dexterity perks, pulse monitor, quick charge, snapshot, and even targeting mods as examples are animation speed boosts. They alter the animation speed of what they are affecting. Some of them all or one of the four draw, stow, ADS, or ready speed independent of the handling stat modifier itself. This means that yes, it is possible to be faster than quick draw through using dexterity mods or other animation speed modifiers. Now let's understand weapon swap speed. Each individual weapon's total speed is taken into account for when swapping from one to another. Weapon swapping as a whole is two halves. It's the stow speed of one weapon, putting it away, and the draw speed of another, taking another weapon out. If we have a low handling primary and swap to a high handling special, it will stow the primary slowly and draw the special quickly. And both of those speeds will combine to create your total swap speed. And this is why it's believed that Dragon Shadow provides better swap speed, which is actually like partially true, but more on that in a moment. In a test by my good friend Fallout, he shows the Dragon Shadow active, how he can swap from his Messenger to his Felwinters, back when it had Quick Draw, faster than just with Felwinters Quick Draw alone. This is because the stow speed of the Messenger putting it away is being affected by the handling boost to both weapons from Dragon Shadow. And since it's faster and Felwinters was already maxed, the only thing being affected there was the Messenger which in turn, when you combine those two, makes it a faster overall swap speed. Speaking of Dragon Shadow, let's get into some perks that affect handling and animation speeds, and let's talk about which ones do what. These aren't all of them, but I try and mention quite a few of them here. Dragon Shadow boosts all of your weapon's handling to 100 for the duration of its active perk. It boosts your draw speed, stow speed, aim down sight speed, and sprint ready speed. And actually, it potentially applies a dexterity mod. I'm gonna go over this in my test later, but basically comparing the Dragon's Shadow swap speed to that of two weapons with 100 handling through surplus being active with three stacks, Dragon Shadow had just a few more frames faster swap speed. And while this could be human error, it seemed consistent enough that it could be giving a dexterity mod sometimes. It's a little weird. The quick draw perk itself boosts your weapon handling to 100 only for when you draw the weapon. Now this happens for one second or until you ADS. It also boosts your sprint ready time while the perk is active for that one second. It does not however boost your ADS or aim down sight speed and it does not boost your stow speed of the weapon. It's actually quite literally now quick draw. The dexterity mods increase your animation speed of your draw and stow. 
it does not increase your ADS speed or your sprint ready speed. And Quick Charge, the mod for Charge with Light, and Pulse Monitor have a similar effect to Dexterity mods. And you'll see later that there was a rumor that Quick Charge is not working, and according to my tests, it is well and working. Targeting mods in Snapshot increase the animation speed of your aim down sights. They do not increase the speed of anything else. Snapshot's also the fastest aim down sight speed available in the game, and it does not stack with other bonuses. Threat Detector is a pretty self-explanatory one, but I thought it included increases your handling by plus 20 for each target within 15 meters. Lucky Pants is an insane boost to the animation speed of the draw of hand cannons, but it doesn't increase the speed of anything else regarding the handling stat like the sprint ready speed, ADS speed, or stow speed, and it's only active when you aren't sprinting. Now we'll look at a quick chart with my test of the effectiveness of different dexterity boosts or handling boosts and support my claims. Starting with a Praetis Revenge with 97 handling and a Shayura's Wrath with 21 handling and no boosts of any sort, the primary time to swap, so the time from me starting the swap to the point that the crosshairs change, was 13 frames. The secondary time, so the point from swapping to the Shayara's Wrath to being able to fire the weapon, was 26 frames. That's a total of 39 frames. Now when I add a SMG dexterity to that, it brought it down to 34 frames. And then two SMG dexterities was a very very small change of just one frame to 33 frames. When I apply a dexterity mod of each weapon type, SMG and snipe to those weapons, I get an even faster swap speed of 32 frames just by one frame, but still technically faster. Which means the optimal way to apply dexterity mods is one of each weapon. And if you can only choose one, give it to the lower handling weapon. With a 56 handling Hawkmoon and Felwinters without any sort of stacks of surplus, I got a stow speed from Hawkmoon of 19 frames, and then a draw speed from Felwinter of 28 frames until being able to shoot for a total of 47 frames. When I apply Dragon Shadow's perk buff to both Hawkmoon and Felwinter, it takes Hawkmoon to a 11 frames of stow speed and 9 frames for the Felwinter of draw speed until I can shoot for a total of 20 frames. With Hawkmoon and Felwinter with double surplus active, so 100 handling on Hawkmoon, 83 on Felwinters, it takes Hawkmoon's stow speed still at 11 frames, but then the draw speed of Felwinters until I'm able to fire of 16 frames, which is a total of 27, so that's still of course going to be lower than that of Dragon Shadow because Felwinters isn't at 100 handling. But when we compare that same thing with the double surplus rolls with Hawkmoon at 100 and Found Verdict at 100, we're able to see that it has the same once again stow speed on Hawkmoon of 11 frames and then a draw speed until firing on Found Verdict of 13 frames, which is still higher than that of Dragon Shadow just by a few frames, a total of 24 frames. But when I take those exact same weapons with their max surplus bonuses active and add a shotgun dexterity mod, the stow speed of Hawkmoon stays the same at 11 frames, but the draw speed of Found Verdict is faster at 10 frames until I'm able to shoot for a total of 21, which is just one frame off of Dragon Shadow with Hawkmoon and Felwinter. And I'm sure, although I didn't test it, I'm nearly positive if I were to add one more dexterity mod on top of the Found Verdict's one already, it would be the exact same at 9 frames until being able to shoot. Of course, there's bound to be some human error with tests like this. I could potentially be one frame off or so for some of these. I'll leave that up to a possibility. But with our limited knowledge of looking at the game from outside in, it seems like Dragon Shadow's weirdly applying some sort of a dexterity mod buff. So it seems just barely faster by a few frames than that of two 100 handling stat weapons if you are not using dexterity mods. So I mentioned a rumor about the quick charge mod not applying its dexterity mod style effect and I took a Shayura with 21 handling and a Toil and Trouble with 50 handling without any quick charge. It had a 24 stow speed, 24 frame stow speed on the Shayura and a 24 frame draw speed until I could shoot with the Toil for a total of 48 frames 
With Quick Charge Active, which affects both SMGs and shotguns, it reduced the stow speed of the Shayera to 22 frames and reduced the draw speed until being able to fire of the Toil to be 22 frames as well, which is a total of 44. So yes, that is faster, which means it is working. If we wanted to theorycraft the fastest swap speed available in the game, you would need two 100 handling weapons, probably done through either Dragon Shadow or Surplus. You need then at least one hand cannon dexterity mod, assuming our prime that we're stowing is a hand cannon and then we could stack quick charge as well as a shotgun dexterity mod for the shotgun and then we'd probably need a shotgun that gets surplus or some sort of quick draw or max handling of some sort for the draw speed and snapshot at the same time which i guess you could do retold tail for that i believe it gets quick draw and snapshot and yeah that would be the fastest possible way to swap from a hand cannon to an ADS shotgun with a Titan coned, fully accurate, ready to shoot. And if you don't want to use a precision archetype or retooled, you could technically put on a targeting mod for your shotgun, which may not be as fast as snapshot technically, but it'll increase your ADS time to get that fully Titan cone, accurate, ready to shoot. Anyways, that's been my video on dexterity and handling. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you in the next one. Take it easy.